uh, changing our lives, our philosophy is underpinned by a commitment to anti-racist practice. Anti-racism is all about taking action to challenge and change racist policies, behaviours and beliefs. In order to make this commitment a reality, we prioritise equality and equity. You can't have one without the other. Equality involves individuals and communities having equal opportunities to make the most of their lives and talents. Equity is about giving people what they need to make things fairer and plays a key role in achieving equality. To achieve equity, we must take into account systemic and structural factors that perpetuate inequalities in order to challenge these and create more equal access to opportunities and life outcomes. For us, equity means targeting our resources to benefit communities that experience social injustice and health inequalities on multiple levels. Historically, ethnicity has often been a contributing factor in those inequalities and still is today. Working in an anti-racist way has always been fundamental for changing our lives. One way that we do this is by ensuring our work reflects the ethnicities of communities we work in. In 2002, just before Changing Our Lives was formed, we worked with people with learning disabilities to shape how the organisation would develop. 21% of those people were from minority ethnic communities. All of those people with learning disabilities felt equality, inclusivity and working with people from a wide range of communities were priorities. By 2005, Although 25% of young people we worked with were from minority ethnic communities, adults we worked with were mainly white British. Seeing this, we made it a strategic aim to ensure people we worked with represented the diversity of their respective communities and made this an integral part of our policy and practice. By 2006, we had increased the proportion of adults from minority ethnic communities we worked with from 8% to 12% and by 2016 to 58%. In 2012, although individuals from minority ethnic communities occupied 25% of our leadership roles for disabled people and people with lived experience of mental health difficulties, we wanted to increase this number. By 2016, this has risen to 53%. In our 20-year history, we have paid 66 disabled people and people with a lived experience of mental health difficulties for their work with us. Nearly 30% of those are from minority ethnic communities. As well as ensuring representation among people who work for us and people we work with, since 2007 we have run targeted projects with people from minority ethnic communities and committed to being proactive in addressing racial inequalities. These are just a few examples. Rights for All was a leadership development program designed to get young disabled people from minority ethnic communities into leadership opportunities. We knew disabled people from minority ethnic communities were seldom offered opportunities to develop their knowledge, skills and attributes as leaders so we tackled this head on. Rights for All gave individuals an understanding of how universal human rights could unlock opportunities, widen their knowledge and help them manage challenges they would face throughout life. It explored the concept of race and how racism impacts leaders currently and historically. During the project, individuals chose their own professional mentors from minority ethnic communities and from a range of professional fields. Beyond the stigma, is an ongoing stream of work about understanding and challenging mental health taboos in the South Asian community. The first phase of Beyond the Stigma took place in 2017, in a borough where 95% of residents are Muslim. We used poetry as a medium to facilitate discussions about mental health with 180 school-aged people. Our poetry workshops culminated in schools, families, faith leaders and the local community coming together for a poetry slam. The second phase of Beyond the Stigma brought together five South Asian women to combine poetry with their own narratives of experiencing and overcoming mental health difficulties. Their work challenged the stigma around mental health in their communities, encouraging others to engage in the conversation. 
Short Black and Sides is the name of a range of projects focusing on the mental health of black men. Beginning in 2019, the original Short Black and Sides project provided a platform for black men to normalise talking about mental health in their own communities. It centred around the Black Barbershop, a place where men have historically shared stories and experiences within the safe and trusting relationship of a man and his barber. Barbers were trained to understand mental health and were given tools and language to support their customers as a low-level preventative measure. The second phase, Barbershop Stories, involves 10 men sharing narratives of their own personal development as individuals and professionals. The project is centred around visibility of black male role models and around identity. As we know, this is intrinsically linked to mental health. It challenges negative stereotypes around black men in society, offering young black men and boys a fresh perspective on what's possible. Equal Treatment is an anti-racism programme aimed at people with learning disabilities within self-advocacy organisations and their management structures. To encourage them to develop their practice and streams of work to address the stark inequalities faced by people with learning disabilities from minority ethnic communities. The Equal Treatment Training develops an awareness of what racism is challenges disparities in representation and provides organisations with tools to develop anti-racist practices to strengthen their future work. Colour Between the Lines is an oral history project examining the experiences and contributions of disabled people from minority ethnic communities. The individuals involved in the project sit at the intersection between disability discrimination and racism providing a vantage point on the role ethnicity plays in disability and self-advocacy movements. The project resulted in timelines charting each individual's contribution and a series of portraits displayed at the Black Cultural Archives as one of the many events marking the 20-year anniversary of changing our lives.